Hi everyone, welcome back to My USA Haul. I'm very excited to be sat in front of you again with some more Christmas candles from the uh, USA 2021 collection. I've picked four candles uh, to review for you tonight. These four candles, as I've said before, come from the online uh, USA Bath & Body Works store. They are not available this year in the Australian Bath & Body Works store as we're still about a year behind in designs. Um, and so these can be picked up uh, using either a freight forwarder if you're comfortable using that method um, or you might be able to pick some up on eBay. These particular candles will land in my eBay store, which is USA Brands Direct, early next week. Uh, so you might have the opportunity to pick some up there if, if you're just looking for a few uh, what I'm going to do is split this into two videos. So in this particular one, I'm going to look at Love and Peace sat here. And in the next one, I've got a couple more white barn candles to have a look at. Um, so these are pretty anticipated scents. The Love and Peace come from a collection which also has in it Hope and Joy. I'll review them in another video. Uh, Hope was a little bit more delayed than the others hitting the USA store. So it's in a delivery that's due for me next week. Um, but today, I must say um, that Love and Peace are certainly the candles that I've had the most questions about recently. Uh, I've had a lot of, are you getting them in? Because it sounds like they are pretty popular scent notes. Cotton Candy Champagne here. I think most people are anticipating that that's a little bit like Cotton Candy Clouds that was very popular uh, earlier in the year. And I think iced raspberry Bellini, it, it's always uh, a popular choice to see a raspberry scent. And it's a little bit different, I guess, from um, some of the other seasonal scents. So if you have a look at the packaging on these two, they are both very Christmassy looking candles. Um, the piece here is this beautiful metallic, um, almost champagne color actually, really. Uh, and it's got the lovely piece with some floral decorative parts making up a beautiful bell there. So interestingly enough, I note that these have actually come with white barn lids uh, when they are clearly Bath & Body Works candles, but a lot of the candles that I received in my most recent shipment did seem to be a little bit mismatched. I don't know if they're still having supply problems, uh, but it is obviously possible. If I flip that over to read the notes there, I can see that for iced raspberry Bellini, we've got chilled Prosecco, sparkling raspberry, citrus twist with natural essential oils. So I'll grab that lid off. Oh, it's a lovely fruity smell. Um, look, you can definitely get a hit of that citrus twist first off. And then I think secondly is what, what comes through is that Prosecco, that lovely sort of fruity but sweet scent. And realistically, that sparkling raspberry is a little bit lighter. Now, when I've burnt some of the um, similar scents in the past, I do notice that that fruitiness does come through a little bit more with the burn. So that'll be really interesting to see. Um, and I would say, look, this isn't the strongest throwing candle in the world. Um, it's certainly um, pretty weak compared to some of the bakery candles in the Christmas range. Uh, but it's certainly one that's going to be lovely for the Australian climate. Being a bit warmer, we don't always want those really rich, really deep, really spiced uh, bakery scents. And I think that iced raspberry Bellini would be perfect uh, for a nice warm Christmas day, which hopefully we do get again this year. Uh, it's been a little while for where I am. All right, so I'll bring in here now uh, the other one from this range. So this is Love here again. It's that beautiful sort of metallic tint on there. I will note that some of these, uh, the packaging here, because of the way it, it actually goes all the way over the lip of the candle, uh, was torn on some of my candles. It just got a little bit scratched up in transit. Now, that's not a huge problem if you're going to have them in a pedestal or other holder. 
um, because it is quite hidden by the way it wraps around the bottom of the candle. But it is worth noting that there were some more issues on these than I've had in the past. And I do think it's because of the type of wrap that's on it more than anything. Um, still do love the color. This one's not going to make it to my mantle piece because it's not going to go with my color scheme. Um, but it's certainly a very pretty candle to look at. And it, it, it does draw you a little bit more from the distance compared to piece. So, of course, this one is the Cotton Candy Champagne. Uh, and we've got Bubbly Rosé, Sweet Strawberry, Pink Sugar with Natural Essential Oils. Now, those notes are going to draw in quite a few people. Whenever they release a strawberry candle, uh, it does attract uh, quite a lot of interest. And I'm looking at those and I'm thinking, do you know what? That sounds pretty close to cotton candy clouds from earlier in the year. The notes on that one were spun sugar, pink berries and whipped vanilla. So I'm expecting this one to be a little bit more fruity because it's cut with bubbly rosé rather than vanilla. Uh, but we'll see. I can actually, um, this candle has such a strong um, throw that I don't, need to take the lid off. I can smell it from here. I am of course going to anyway. Yeah, wow. Okay. My <laughs> my house has smelt like cotton candy champagne for the last um two days since these um arrived and I haven't burnt a single one. So this is a pretty good throw I must say. Uh it's very sweet. It's, it's almost sickly sweet, actually. That pink sugar is 100% the most obvious note in this candle, uh, followed by that sweet strawberry scent. If I, I'm going to smell it again. I really like it. <laughs> yep. So that, um, that strawberry does take a moment to hit just because you get all the sugar first, but I can see that that sweet strawberry is going to come through even more when it's, when it's lit. Um, I might, if I get, get a chance, uh, burn one of these and give you a video of it lit later. Uh, but to be honest, I don't even know if it needs to be because like I said, it, it has already scented my entire house like cotton candy champagne. Um, so that's obviously a pretty good choice if, if you like a strong candle. Uh, in comparison, that, that piece there is, like I said, a little bit more subtle, but I think it is the perfect sort of thing to have on during the day. Um, especially during some of the Christmas celebrations as the weather here in Australia warms up. All right, I'm going to leave this video here um, because I do like to keep it under 10 minutes. Remember that you could pick these up uh, early next week in my eBay store, or you might like to research how to use a freight forwarder for yourself to bring them over. Uh, just be aware that customs delays are taking quite a bit longer than usual, so probably need to get on it in the next few days if you're expecting them to arrive before Christmas. In my next video tonight, I'll take you through uh, a couple of the white, ban white barn candles that I've got here, uh, just for a little bit of uh, something different. All right, if you enjoyed my video tonight, please leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, something to know that uh, it is appreciated so that I keep going with these videos. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.